Good morning, folks. Major climate event. You remember a powerful low in the north central states yesterday. These drive counterclockwise as seen on Hint.fm's wind map. It's an educational piece of artwork that can help you understand the air drive of pressure cells. It's updated hourly, so you will need to click the links in your own time. Now, veteran observers know that even a low north of the Canadian border can pull up from the Gulf. But not only do we have such a powerful low pulling north now, we have another low in Hudson Bay. This is strong enough to get the warmth pulled up the leading east edge, which is not captured by the helix and is instead sheared further north. You can see that spin in Hudson Bay here as well. This is a direct line from the Gulf of Mexico to the Arctic Circle. Taking a quick look at the next set of storms coming to the US, more snow unfortunately, so eastern states enjoy this while it lasts. Southwest Pacific, minor rain events at New Zealand, but no severe watches as of now. It's the high pressure sitting between countries. One low putting her finishing touches on Greece, the other cresting the continent now. Greece is looking at major rain and wind warnings, same with Bulgaria, while Italy might see some lightning, and north from Germany to Finland and back across to the UK is still spotty, blizzard conditions and cold. Lastly on weather, we have a new cyclone in the Indian Ocean, not terribly large yet, but strengthening fast and expected to become dangerous as it approaches Madagascar. Coming to the sun, since the M flare cresting the limb, the earth facing quiet tracked for two years here has held form with the sunspot count in the hundreds, but nothing above a C2 flare. We have some magnetic mixing up here, but he's headed for the backside. South of that, we have a big blue positive polarity umbra that went silent when she caught a glimpse of earth. But up here, we have our next contestants. The magnetic complexity, the mixing of positive blue and negative red is what indicates flare potential. And I see the most potential up top. Just crested yesterday, the source of the M flare two days ago has also kept his mouth shut while in our house, but boy does he look like he brought some toys. Bartol, still not updated, but on the right you can see the muon counts above 101. 102 is the highest I've ever seen them. Solar wind, beginning to show a disturbance at the end with the yellow and orange rising, perhaps a minor coronal hole stream before a bigger one. You can see how that affects the shields after two days of very quiet space weather. A visibly nice whack there to our magnetosphere with some auroral activity as well. Something unfortunate is the lack of availability of the gong site right now. For new observers, we have determined that their showing of the umbral field atop a Carrington rotation is the best measure of how the dark coronal holes are either blocked by a magnetic field or allowed to spew forth and potentially have a great effect on Earth. This has been shockingly reliable for judging the beginning of quake upticks tracked here and indeed kicked off our latest watch less than 36 hours in. As you look at the largest quakes of the first half of this 7-8 to eight day watch, remember that the previous 8 days had no watch whatsoever and only one 6.0 and was a below average time for shaking. To finish this watch, we continue to monitor those corona holes, but we also note that the new moon includes a few other conjunctions in a short span. The watch will likely end April 11th or 12th. And speaking of quakes, the Canary Islands had me convinced last night they were done. After hundreds of quakes a day, it cooled down April 4th, only three on April 5th, one on April 6th, but we are picking back up today and already have a four-pointer. Hopefully going from one 6.0 in eight days to a 6.2 and 7.0 in less than 24 hours is the only uptick we get. I'd gladly take a failure on the second half of the watch if it meant no more deaths. Leaving you with some shots of our star. In addition to quakes, I'm fixating on the new active regions. Eyes open. No fear at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.